Hey guys, my name is Patrice Murphy of Curves and Games Fitness right here in Prince George's County, Maryland. I'm very excited because today I'm bringing a workout for my favorite demographic of people. Yes, this is for my senior group. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to demonstrate five exercises. These you can do at your own pace in your home. So you don't have to worry about following along or keeping up. What I will do, however, is demonstrate each exercise so you know what it is. After we get to the fifth exercise, what I'm looking for you to do is complete a total of four rounds. That's right, four rounds of all five exercises, okay? So I'm gonna take you through the very first exercise. It's called a bend and reach. So you're gonna do exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna bend down, reach up over your head. Bend, reach up over your head. If you notice, I'm going up on my toes, just like that. Up over your head, bending down, going up over your head. So you're gonna do 15 of those. The next thing that I'm looking for you to do is called a reverse tap. We're gonna turn our body a little bit so you can see my legs going back. You're gonna just take your arms forward, tap your leg back. Take it back and forward. Back, forward, back, and then forward. Slight bend to the knees when you're doing this, okay? So, same is true with the first exercise, you're gonna do that 15 times. And I mean 15 per leg, not 15 in total. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna work your core. We're gonna do like a knee to elbow type of exercise. So you're gonna have your hands up high, you're gonna twist in just like this. It's very important you take your elbow to knee to try to meet each other. So let's say that you can. It's totally fine. I just want you to twist, take it inside, just like that. If you can guess, I'm looking for you to do 15 of these as well, okay? The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work out the upper body a little bit more, and we're gonna do some punches. So you're gonna stand in a comfortable position right here, slight bend to your knees, and you're gonna punch, twist the neck this as it goes right out in front of you, straight like that. So on these punches, I'm looking for you to do a full extension of your arms. I don't want you to go like this. I want a full extension of each arm. Our last and final exercise, we're gonna do a standing crunch. You're gonna open up wide, crunch it down. Open wide, crunch it down. Open wide, crunch it down. It's really important that you open really, really big and then tighten it up really tight when you go to the bottom. So that was our fifth and final exercise. So every one that you do, I'm looking for you to do 15 of them. If 15 is a little aggressive for you to start out with, start out with 10. So remember, I'm gonna go through them one more time really quickly. You're gonna go bend and reach here. Just like that. Straight down and straight up. The next one is the reverse tap. You're going just like that. Taking it back. After that, you're gonna do the knee to elbow. Twisting it in, just like that, as much as you can. Then we're gonna do those punches. You're gonna punch it out right here. Then our last and final exercise, you're gonna open super big, crouch it down. Super big, crouch it down. Big and crouch down. So remember, what I'm looking for you to do at your own pace, at least 10 reps of every exercise for a total of four rounds. I want you to do it four times. If four times is too much, start out with one, work your way up to two, and then try to work your way up to four. Thank you again. My name is Patrice Murphy of Curves and Games Fitness. I look forward to working with you again soon.